Hello, beautiful people. It's your girl, Danae, and welcome back to The God and Light. This is our weekly reading for the month of May that we have been doing entitled Miracle Magic, okay? So this is for the month of, I mean, this is for the week of May 20th through May the 26th, and the message I've been getting all day has been returned to sender, and so I've been waiting on confirmation to receive, like, what is that? What does that mean, right? Um, and so the three things that I got is protection, preparation, and positioning, right? So for this week, May 20th through May the 26th, it's important to um, be protecting yourself, right? Say the prayers that you know you need to say, say the affirmations that you know you need to say, speak and think healthy and high vibing uh, energies, be around high vibing, healthy energies, right? Eat um, healthy foods, drink plenty of water, staying hydrated, especially as we're transitioning into the summer season. Um, in a lot of places, we're transitioning into the summer season. We're transitioning um, into warmer weathers now. And so it's like, this is the time where a lot of increased um, warfare and things like this happen, right? And so it's like the turn to sender is telling us, protect yourself. There are some prayers that you need to be saying that is going to protect yourself and mind, body, and spirit, as well as your home and your family, your business, and anything directly or even indirectly connected to you. The second thing is preparation. Be prepared for negative, toxic, and unhealthy energies to be flooded into you, especially as the miracles continue to happen and manifest in your life. As these things continue to happen for you, you are going to have to continue to be prepared because as they say, new levels, new devils. So as you continue to advance and elevate in whatever part of your life, be prepared for the reality that there are going to be people who are going to smile in your face, baby. And I've, and this is a message for this week. So be prepared like that. There's going to be people who's going to smile in your face and be stabbing you in the back or looking to stab you in the back in the process. OK. And then the third one was positioning. Put yourself in position. Right. So a lot of people talk about how. um you know, we get, people get tricked out of their spot, but not a, not, not a, not a lot of us, I can't even talk y'all, not a lot of us talk about how people get put in positions in our lives that they don't deserve to be in, that they never deserve to be in. And so it's like, if you're praying or trying to manifest a husband or a wife or a significant other in your life, but you still have that black book or you still have somebody from your past that's kind of just sitting and occupying that space, right? It's pretty much giving the energy that you are not in position to receive what you're meant to receive. Or give you another example, if you know someone in your life is, is meant to reap some type of karma for some something that they did, right, that they knew that they were wrong for doing, but you end up getting tricked into being put in a position where you end up reaping the karma for something that they did, right? And so the three Ps here is telling you to position yourself to receive your blessings, position yourself to receive your abundance, position yourself this week to receive your wealth, your overflow and the miracle magic for the miracle magic to happen. And the message I'm getting right now is, is most high is saying that someone Whoever is maybe watching this, you may not have received your three, four, five on the clock, may not have received certain things you have been manifesting just yet because you have not been protecting yourself. You have not been preparing yourself and you have not been in position. Right. And so those three P's are so important. Protect yourself, prepare yourself and position yourself to receive these miracles. You may be doing one or two here and there, but most high needs you to do all three collectively and in sync with one another. And, will, and you will see how quickly these things manifest into your life. I want to pull um, I want to pull a couple of cards, y'all. All right, so I went ahead and shuffled and uh, pulled the cards um, off, off, 
off of here. Okay, so the overall energy that came out is the full flame. You can't even see it, but it says this is a twin flame who has, has been tricked out of their spot. And I was just talking about this energy, y'all. They were fooled into believing things to be true that aren't. So the reason why, as I said, someone has not received the things that they were expecting to receive by this time um, in the month or in the year or in their life or whatever have you, it's because you are in the full energy right now and the spirit needs you to use your wisdom, your intelligence, your knowledge, right? Even though you may be in the full energy, it doesn't mean that you have to be a fool if you follow what I'm saying, okay? And so when I asked about the specifics about um, protection, soul tribe and spiritual power came out. So you in some type of way are being protected where your spiritual power and your soul tribe energy is being protected. So you may have been praying, wishing or manifesting for your soul tribe to come into your life for your for your powers to be enhanced or revealed or something like that to you and you feel like it's not happening it's because you are your gifts and your um, your soul tribe is being protected and this is why you're being told like hey you have to be on top of your spiritual protection you have to be on top of what you know you need to do spiritually so that when you receive these answered prayers when you receive these things that you've been manifesting into your life you don't ruin them and you don't mess them up because fool's energy means just a new beginning a fresh start a start of a new journey and a lot of the times when we're starting something new we can make a lot of unhealthy choices or decisions and so you're being told here by being in position by preparing yourself um, and protecting yourself you can literally um, avoid making many of those mistakes there's a big difference between making unhealthy choices or decisions versus making a mistake okay but I'm getting I'm getting the energy of like you know who you are you know what you are certain mistakes that you that that other people may have made in the in the same position that you're getting ready to be in you're not going to need to make those mistakes because you have already been taught certain lessons and gone through certain experiences to not have to need to go through those things again and learn those lessons okay because you already are aware of those things and then for um for the preparation we got unorthodox it says the more you reconnect with your soul self you realize that you're not of this world and you are here for a specific purpose so it's like now you're being prepared this preparation season that you already went through I'm feeling like you already went through this 711 on the clock you already went through this preparation season and as I just finished saying this you already went through this preparation season baby there's no need for you to for you to have to repeat this 944 on the clock there's no reason for you to need to have to repeat going through these lessons or experiences all over again this is spirit reminding you and acknowledging to you that you are already ready and that you are already prepared it's just a matter of protecting yourself right remaining prepared right stay ready so you ain't got to get ready and then baby positioning yourself the position card came out as standards and your higher self stand oh that's a beautiful message stand in your higher self Align yourself with your higher self. Standard says that it's time to reestablish your standards. You're likely trying to apply old standards of living with your new life. And standards are not often a one and done type of thing. So you are being encouraged to adjust your standards to match your higher self, to match the energy of your soul tribe, to match the level of your now spiritual power and spiritual gifts that you now have. And it may feel a little off. It may feel a little unorthodox. It may feel a little, you know, woozy, right? Because it may feel like it's not you, but in actuality, spirit is telling you this is exactly who you are. Your higher self is who you truly are. And it's time for you to realign with that truth, right? And so it's very much so giving return to sender, return everyone and everything, every false a part or piece of yourself that you may have been falsely operating in for a very long time that you thought was you return those outdated broken lower vibrational aspects of the false version of you return those things back to center send them back to where they came from protect yourself uh, prepare yourself and position yourself for what is coming in for you for this week this again is for the week of May 20th through May 
26. That is a message, beautiful beings. Comment below and let me know this is your word. Repost this message to someone who you know who needs to see this. And make sure you're following us on all our social media platforms. Until next time, peace and love, beauties. Deuces.